Howdy, I'm Luna, and today we're going to be exploring some art in EverQuest 2. Today's artwork is titled Huia's Grand Hall. The owner is Huia, and the decorator is Gerald Blue. Its address is the Thurgoden Grand Hall, located on the Skyfire server, and it is currently not published. a little while since we've done a Gerald Blue house, so let's go ahead and start this tour. Here's some information. Got quite a few items. About a third of the item count. Filling up this grand hall. This place is huge, by the way, for those of you who don't know. So it's difficult to, to fill it up. Okay, first of all, I noticed that there is a magic mouth. I missed it. So let's, before we see, ah, guest bedroom. All right, so we are in the guest bedroom. I mean, look at this place. It is huge, but woo! We got some Gerald Blue art going on here. Some lanterns and other things placed around. Is that a mailbox? Hold on. Oh, it's a Hallis sign. Oh, is that what says? That's is that the magic mouth? Oh, it is the magic mouth. So maybe that's what's saying guest bedroom. Oh, welcome to Huya's Thurgood and Grand Hall. I bet that's what that one says. Okay, we're getting this. We are getting this. I don't know if I'm supposed to be up here. But I'm going to go up here anyways because I want to see. <laughs> oh, look at this. I like the little line of uh, Christmas stock or Christmas Frostfell stockings. <laughs> the wall leading over here. It's back here. Nothing. All right. Sweet. Oh, wow. There's so much. Okay, let's see. We're going to divide and conquer and make sure we get everything. Ooh, I love these tiles. They're so pretty. So pretty. With this orange stuff, it looks really good. What is this stuff called again? The burnt sienna brick. I do have that one. Bonsai tree, a nice ice cold glass of milk. <laughs> I'm, it, it's probably not milk. I'm just saying it's milk because it's for Santa. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so this is the guest bedroom. That's why there was a sign. Aha! I'm figuring this out. All right, he did say that he went a little overboard on this front room, so this is going to be fun. Is this wall always here? It looks like it. Oh, there's stuff behind there. Got a pile of gold down here and a teleporter. Ooh, with a couple of different areas. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if we'll take the teleporter for walk it. And then I might just edit out if it's like, you know, nothing. Because like I said, this place is very difficult to fill all the way up. Oh, we have another stuck pet. This is my curse every time. Well, that's a plain elm tile. But yeah, they're always stuck and floating somewhere. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Okay, so we have some stairs right here. Oh, there's another ice cold glass of milk for Santa. Frostfell. All right, so we're going into the Frostfell area. Or I think there's another way to get here. Hold on. Let's see before we totally let's go around this way. Because this is a magic mouth. Yes? Yeah. Magic mouth. So... That must have been where it said Frostfell because I see all these Frostfelly decorations. A little cup up there, a little teapot. Love it. Oh, look! Wow, this is just a big room. Good night. Okay. Little bedroom over here. Yummy turkey and some berries. We got some stuff on the shelves. Oh, I love it. Ooh, I don't know that painting. I mean, I probably do. Oh, I like how that, the mirror looks on there. Because it's almost like, it's like grainy around and then it's like clear. Like you can see through it. And it's a mirror. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That's a cool little trick. Optical illusion. We got some more beds. Wait, can we get back here? No. 
I think this is part of the, yeah, this is part of the Grand Hall. Okay, so that's the Frostfell room. Then we're going to head over. Hmm. Let's see. Oh my gosh, there's so much. So there's some teleporters here in the middle. Well, at least this is a teleporter. And this is a druid circle with some tiles in it and some mats next to it and a boat. I love it. we go okay oh look cloud rats up there uh for those of you who might not know i mean because i think this is just called a decoration i can't I, I don't know if i can get up there wait i can't fly wait i can fly can you fly in here i don't think you can fly in here no you can't fly in here but um cloud rat was a decorator and they created uh portal houses let's see if i have one on here i think it's probably in dev picks cloud a, a cloud rat dojo so yeah so you'd come here and uh all the portals are in one area and you could just get to it from the leaderboards and as you can see cloud rats character is right there they modeled it after her to create the the decoration for frostfell so a little bit of EverQuest 2 art history right there. We got a little library here in the center. Very cute. I love these bookshelves. These are some of my favorite bookshelves. Look, like with the gold. Oh, they're so pretty. Such a good color. And then we have another little room here. Which looks like a little dining room. With a little sink. And Cloud Rat watching over us from up above. <laughs> Oh, I meant to say that uh, Cloud Rat passed away a few years ago, and that's when they created the the memorial for her. Okay, so this, I think I missed this one. All right. Magic Mouths and me do not get along. Let's try this again. Okay. Magic Mouth. Nope. Let's try it from this angle. <laughs> We're going to get this to work. I swear. Okay. Come, come, come. Oh, I didn't even notice the purple. Eh? Nothing. All right, well, fine. We're going to go back behind this wall and see. Nope. Let's come in here. We got a, oh, Frostfell 2. A nice arched doors here. I just, it's so fascinating. Jared Blue's artwork. It's almost like a Picasso painting. Like, I think, like, it's just so interesting where you decide to place stuff and how you decide to put stuff down. And I love it. It's so cool. It's so different. It's fun to look at stuff that's a little different every now and then. This is great. Little area. Oh, some pastries. Yummy. Nice place to sit and stare at the snowmen. <laughs> or let the snowman stare at you. I mean, you know, whatever you're into, really. <laughs> okay, so let's go back through here. And let's head over to this side of the room. Which, oh, depots and multi-craft station. Which I thought I saw depots on the, yes, the teleporter. Da -da -da -da. Okay, perfect. It's good to know that there's a teleporter. I think he said something about there's nothing at the very back end of this grand hall, but we're going to go back there anyways because I'm curious. <laughs> oh, I love this four, or well, it's like an all crafting table. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. The blue. I like the other one too. That's like rainbowy colors. I love it. All the depots back here. Ooh, I like how this... Uh, Brazier lights up this white tile. This white marble tile. Very nice. Okay, and then the last part of this room. Oh, here we can kind of peek. Oh, look at this! I like this! A little farm. A little cart. 
That is so cool. Getting a little fall. Ooh, what is that thing? I haven't seen that. What is that? Cage of rattling chains. It's handcrafted, so eventually I'll be able to make it. <laughs> a haunted room. Okay, so we've been doing Frostfell, but now we're going to do some Knights of the Dead. Tiles laid out. Very cool. Okay, through the curtains into the spooky room. All the lantern, all the chandeliers. We got some tombs and bones, of course. Oh yeah, we can craft these tents. Yeah, that's the that I knew. Bats, spooky bats. Very spoopy. Oh, look, I love how you layered all those together so it's like real thick and scary. Got some floating ghosty chairs. And that creepy eyeball tree. I love this tree. Look. Wait, are you going to blink at me? No, you just watched me. I thought they blinked, but they just followed me. Unblinking. <laughs> Anything up here? No. All right. Oh, look, I didn't even notice up there. Got what, uh, the awudur that I cannot pronounce tile up there, divider up there as well. Okay, all right. Yeah, we will come back to the teleporter. But I'm going to head that way. And if there's nothing there, you're going to see a cut in the, in the edit. Uh, and we're just going to be right back here. If there is something there, then you're going to see it. All right, here we go. All right, it looks like we do have a little bit up here, some rooms and things. So we have this interesting mirror. Oh, this is a marketplace item. That's so cool. Is there something behind here? No, I'm just getting excited for nothing. <laughs> there's another ice tile over here, but it doesn't look like there's a mirror with it. Let's head into the center. Oh, there's the teleporter. Okay. We will definitely take that to make sure we're not missing out on any areas. The fountain is part of the Grand Hall, but I think this was added. That looks... Ooh, you can jump off here. I wouldn't recommend it, though. <laughs> but it made a nice diving board. Little room over here just gonna go around and hit all the things and then we'll take the teleporter <laughs> Ooh, this must be like the master bedroom it's like it's at the far wall oh i like that you are at the far wall but it's such a grand open space for this king size bed I never noticed this with the wall. I've, I've never built in here before. Most of the ones that I've seen built, I never really looked. But yeah, I like this like ice in between there. Okay, wait, we got one more little ledge to check out. And then we're going to check out the teleporters and see if, make sure that we have not missed anything. Oh, there is a clock over there. Oh, good. And then, oh, what is this light? Oh, this is for Marketplace, isn't it? Yep. I see designs. That is gorgeous. I like that a lot. Okay. Teleporter time. Do, do, do. Depots, we saw those. Yep, this is the depot room. Okay. Next, we have Far End. Yep, we got there. That's the big master bedroom, or what I'm calling the master bedroom. Ha <laughs> ha Waterfall area. Yes. Okay. So that's where we were. And then I bet the last one is the entrance. We did it. We've seen everything. This place can get confusing because it's so huge. All right. Where are we going to say goodbye? We're going to say goodbye by Cloud Mac over here. We can't get up there by her, but we can... We can kind of have her in the background. How about that? 
All right. That was a lot of fun going through another one of Gerald Blue's art pieces. I cannot wait for the next one. It looks like he has posted another one to go tour. I have a couple videos to do before that. So make sure you come back and join us for those. And we'll see you next time. Bye.